Hello? If you want to speak, you have to tune me in five minutes. <clears throat> okay. Hey guys, so it's Rachel. Obviously, if you're new here, then... Hey, um, press the subscribe button so we can become best friends. But anyway, today I'm starting a new series. I was going to make a video explaining it, but I'm just going to try to, like, explain it quickly enough to just, like, start the series in this video. So basically I got this video from, I think her name's Hannah. I will link her channel down below. But I've, okay, so you guys have been asking me to do a makeup collection, you know, like, for a while. But I really don't like how my makeup is set up right now. I don't have enough room for all my makeup. I don't like how it's set up. I have, you know, the drawers that, like, everybody has, like, these, you know. And I really want to get the Alex, like, drawers from Ikea, if you know what I'm talking about. They're white. They're really nice, and they're just sturdy and good, so. But obviously, those are, like, $100 or 120 or something, and the closest Ikea to me is in Pennsylvania, so I have to drive to Pennsylvania to get those. So, that's going to be a little while before I can actually buy those, so she does these videos on her channel and she calls it mini makeup collection and then she does like certain products so she'll do mini makeup collection bronzers and highlighters mini makeup collection eyeshadows mini makeup collection concealers and foundations like stuff like that so basically what it is is it's like a mini makeup collection and when you do a makeup collection obviously you don't have time to go through every single product or the video would be so long so, you do this video so you can actually kind of go through every product you have in this portion of your makeup and give like a little review and actually be able to talk about it. So, you just split it up into different sections. So, I want to do that and eventually go through almost all my makeup and then hopefully by the time I get done with all these videos, I'm obviously not going to do these all in a row, like I'll have some videos in between, but this is just a new series I really want to start. So, yeah, that's the plan and then I will do my makeup collection once I get the Alex drawers and I also want to do a decluttering video because as you will see throughout this series I have makeup in here that I don't really use and I just need to get rid of but I'm gonna make a video like dedicated to actually getting rid of all of it so today we're going to do bronzers and highlighters I have a blush collection of it it's kinda old so I'm probably gonna do a blush one next um but yeah anyway today I'm gonna do bronzers and highlighters. So I hope that you guys like this idea. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was a really cool idea and I've always wanted to do something like this but like I didn't know what to call it so I'm giving this girl all the credit. I'll link her channel down below. So let's get started. Okay. Okay so as usual I just filmed this video and I talked way too much and ran out of time and my camera's already dying like it died within my intro. So, and I, like, refilmed this whole video, so. If my camera dies, I really apologize if the lighting starts to get worse. But, we're just going to hop into this so that I can get this video done in, like, under an hour. So, I'm going to start off with the bronzers, and the first, like, three are just, like, like, shit, I bought when I was, like, in sixth grade, so these are just terrible. Again, I'm doing a decluttering video. I think I talked about that in the intro. But yeah, I want to do a decluttering video, so these will definitely be in that. Okay, so this is literally like the first face product I ever bought. Like, I remember me and my cousin putting this on in my mom's bathroom and like asking us if we looked okay. And she was like, little less, little less, little less. And like every time she would just say little less because we looked like Oompa Loompas and thought it looked cute. So anyway, this is the Bon Belle Glimmer Bronze. And basically what this is, is a loose bronzer. Why I thought I wanted this. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I hate loose products. Oh my god. A loose bronzer. Like, I didn't even know how to do makeup back then. Why did I think I was going to be able to, like, control a loose bronzer? Like, did I really think I was going to be able to, like, function? No. Okay. Then, these are just, like, you know, like, when I first started out with makeup, e.l.f. was, like, my holy grail because their makeup, honestly, isn't that bad and it's super cheap. So, this is the e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder in Warm Tan. It's obviously like really old. And then this is one of their like natural radiance blushers, but I got it in bronzed, so it's like a bronzer, I guess. But these are all like shimmery, and I don't like my bronzers to be shimmery, so I don't really like those anymore. Um Okay, then I have another bronzer I don't like. 
And this is a Physician's Formula Bronze Booster thingy, and it is in light to medium. And basically, I was really intrigued by this because it has the like 3D shape popping out of it, and I thought it looked really cool. But it's just a really orange toned bronzer. I have swatches on my hand. I don't remember which one this was. I think it was this one. Yeah, it's this one. And I'm just really not into orange tone bronzers. And again, this is shimmery. It's not matte. Um, but I could use this as an eyeshadow. So, you know, it's not like I want to total waste because this is way too expensive to just throw it out. So I'm probably just going to use it as an eyeshadow. But for its own purpose of being a bronzer, I don't like it. Okay, then I have the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And this is actually a really good product from e.l.f. It's supposed to be like a dupe to the NARS. Orgasm Blush in Laguna Bronzer, and I do have that little, um, mini, like, duo of them if you want to, like, compare side by side. So, like, um, that's them. Sorry, the lighting is really weird. Okay, so, yeah, this is a really good dupe because this is, like, $3, and the duo, like, I bought the mini of both of them. Because, um, just so I could try them out, and this is like $25, so I didn't want to buy them both individually and spend like double that. And this is $3. So, if you're looking for a good dupe to that, this is a really nice alternative to spending that much money. Okay, then this is a newer product. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Contour and Highlighting Palette, and this is in light. And basically, it just looks like this, and it has a highlight and contour shade. I really wanted to try this because it's a cool toned bronzer, if you can tell. And most of my bronzers are warm toned, so I was like, ooh, I wonder how that'll look on my skin. So I do really like this, um, since I already, like, have it. I like this for if I just want something really natural. It's a really light bronzer. The highlighter is just like, eh, like, eh. If you are, like, really into that, like, whoosh, highlight, you know, like, whoosh, then, like, you won't like this because it's more of a subtle highlight. But if you want more of a subtle highlight and a subtle contour, then this is good. Do you hear my mom chopping stuff in the kitchen? Okay, but... But anyway, if you don't already own this, then it's not necessary to buy because... This was, like, $15, I think, or something, and I think that's a bit excessive for the drugstore. But if you, um... I mean, whatever. You do you, boo. Okay, then, this is my favorite bronzer ever. Benefahula. Oh my gosh, I love it to death. As you can tell, um, it's just a nice, it's not like too warm toned, not too cool toned. It's matte. I think it looks good on everybody. And I actually have a backup of it right here. So, if you want to know what this looks like when it's brand new, it's like has a little brush. And then it has this little plastic covering. And it's just, it's all Gucci. It's a really good bronzer, so. Yeah. Hello? Do you want us to pick you up? It's going to be in five minutes. <clears throat> okay. All right, and then, hey, what are we doing afterwards? What's going on? I don't know. All right, because, like, you can, like, Aaron can, like, drop you off at the, the nursery home without me, because you guys have me off first. Or you can just go ahead and drop off at my house. Listen, I put three plates, or I put four plates in the front. Ah, okay, Jake is going to be here in like five minutes, so I'm going to try to like speed through the rest of this. So, next, I have the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is the last like bronzer I have, and this I recommend a lot just because it's going to last you forever. And basically, it has three highlight shades and three contour shades. The highlight shades, this one's more pink toned, peachy. This is more yellow toned, and then this one is actually like a shimmery highlight powder. Thing. And then it just has like three different kind of shades and tones of bronzers. I really, really, really do like that though. But the bronzers, you are really pigmented. So if you are pale like me, just use a light hand. And they're going to last you forever because you don't need a lot at all. And then next, this is the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. And I am a really stubborn person. And they didn't have this in my shade. But I just needed it. So I bought it in medium. And... It's really not my shade. I need it in the light color, but... Yeah, I can't really, like, review this exactly because I can't use, like, the highlight and contour shade because they're way too dark for me. It just looks ridiculous. But the middle one is, like, a shimmery, like, actual highlight, and this is really nice. So, 
I have a feeling that, like, this is a good product. It's just that it doesn't fit me, so I can't give you, like, my full opinion on it. But, um, it is good enough, like, from what I have tried, that I am going to buy this in the light shade whenever I go to Ulta next. So, to give you an idea, now we have highlighters. And, again, I have to go through this kind of fast. So, first I have these NYX Wonder Sticks. And this one is universal. And the highlight side is actually shimmery. And then the bronzer side, shride. It's just like a stick, you know? And you just, like, put it where you want to contour and then blend it out with, like, a brush or a beauty blender or whatever floats your boat. And then they have ones that are actual shades. So this one is light medium. And the highlight is actually for, like, highlighting, like, under your eyes and the high points of your face. It's not shimmery. And then, again, the bronzer is just, like, a bronzer. I really recommend you buy this in like your shade like light medium, medium dark, whatever your shade is and you are good to go honestly like this is the best thing ever. I'm wearing it today. If you can like kind of see my contour, I don't know if you can, but I'm wearing it today and I love it. I wear this all the time. I honestly always wear either this or Hoola every day. Those are the two bronzers I use. I really recommend this though. It's seriously like I think it was like $8 and it is so good. Like I will use this till it runs out and go buy another one same day like I think this is the best thing ever okay then I have okay this is really old this is the elf golden bronzer it's basically just four shimmery colors in a square I mean you know eh. okay then I have this and this is seriously like surprisingly good it's the elf shimmer palette and it's just four shades there's like a ivory toned a peachy toned a goldeny and then just a pink and these are literally just super creamy like just highlights like they're so creamy so pigmented they just melt into your skin and you get four of them for three dollars and it's gonna take you so long to hit pan on all these let alone use them all up so I really recommend this if you know you're like balling on the budget because this is three dollars and these highlighters are considerably good for three dollars so and I really, really, really like cream highlighters because I just feel like they just, like, just warm into your skin better. Like, I don't know, I'm weird, but, you know, so. Again, really recommend this if you're balling on a budget. Then, okay, we have the Benefit High Beam. This is a really good product. Mine is super dried out because it's really old. But when this was at its full life potential, it was really good. Um, I would probably more recommend the Becca one than this one for the price but you know okay then I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi liquid glow illuminator prime and highlight and this is the golden one they have like three or four different like shades or tones of this so don't be here oh my god they're here whatever so what I like to do with this is it's not a really powerful highlighter so I like to mix this in with my primer use like two thirds of my primer and put like one third of this and just mix it on my hand and then just like put it on my face and I really like doing that because it just gives a nice glow under my foundation you can use this obviously just like highlighter on your cheekbones if you want to it's just I like a more dramatic highlight and this is just a really like natural light one you could probably build it up but I'm just letting you guys know like I really like mixing this with my primer under my foundation it looks really good so yeah I'm coming, let me get dressed. We are fine, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm coming, chill out. Bye! Like, these 23,000 people are way more important, like... Okay, anyway, so, then I have this little duo I talked about. Orgasm and Laguna. This is really good. It's like $25, but this is really good. Okay, then I have the Becca highlighter in Opal. And I have the powder version, and this broke, and I literally cried. Wish I was kidding. Cried. Like, I'm pathetic, but I cried. This is so pretty, and it was so expensive. Like, it wasn't that expensive, but like, still. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's the best highlight ever, and now that it's broken, it just isn't the same. And I really want to buy this again. I really need to. I will eventually. And then this is the same thing, but in like a liquid form. Like it just has a brush. And it's again an opal. This is really good. I really love this. Um, 
I think they're equally good. It's honestly just like take your pick if you want a powder or a liquid creamy one. Okay, then the last things I have to talk about are these Essence So Glow Cream Highlighters. And I have 10 Look on the Bright Side and 20 Bright Up Your Life. So basically, it's just like a cream, super creamy, super creamy and pigmented highlighter. Oh my god, okay, so this is the ivory toned one, and this is the pink toned one. So, it's like that, and it's like that. Okay, it doesn't even look like it's that good, but seriously, do you see my highlighter right now? Do you see it? How can you not? Oh my god, changed my life. Like, this is seriously like $4, and it is the best highlighter I think I've ever used in my life, besides like the Becca one. So good. I use this every day of my life since I bought it. I think it is honestly one of the best products I've ever discovered in my, like, six years of makeup life. This is literally the best thing ever, so. I'm not kidding you. Like, if you have $5 in your pocket right now, please go to Ulta and buy this. Literally, I'm begging you. Like, if you like highlighters in any way, you are going to feel like your life is changed when you try this because it's seriously so cheap and it is so good. It's so creamy and pigmented. You need the tiniest amount. Like, it's going to take forever to hit pan on this. You're never going to use it up. Like, it's so pigmented. It's so amazing. It's so creamy. It's perfect. Okay. One more thing. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. This is really good. It's like a cult favorite. Obviously, it's amazing. So, Yeah. So, that was it for this video. Sorry it was really rushed at the end, but it still wasn't even a short video, so, like... But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know down below what you guys think of this series, because I'm really excited to start it. I'm really into the whole idea, so let me know down below what you guys think, and leave, like, requests of how you want me to maybe group stuff together for this series. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I love you all so, so, so much, and leave requests down below. I read every single comment. And also, be sure to subscribe if you're new so we can become best friends. And it honestly, like, makes my day. Like, every time. So, I love you guys. Bye.